I'm been a solitary man and my only companion in the mighty Mississippi. Her water's flowing like the years of my life. And my home, just a little humble little tent, pitched right there on the bank. Where the bullfrogs serenade at night and keep, you know, and the stars keep watch over me. And one evening, you know, it was just, the sun was just going down, like a soft blanket over the earth. And I saw her. A woman standing on the other side of the bank, across the river. And you know, it just looked like a little dark smudge against the fading light of the sun. And the, I could tell the clothes were a little raggedy though. Clanging to her like the memories of a lifelong past. And she stepped into the water, a gentle light. Like she was stepping into a warm bath. In the river, the river, on the river, you welcome her with open arms, and I watched. And my heart filled with a strange compassion for this soul, and, you know, even though I didn't know her, I figured she must really be going through something to go off and walk up off at that river. In Mississippi, she's a violent lady, her current strong enough to carry away the mightiest tree. And I seen it. Pull them right up from the roots. But the woman, she went under, calm, peaceful. And the river just took her right on the air. And the minutes ticked by. Each one felt like a lifetime. And the river had got another victim. I don't know what the lady was going through that would make her choose to do something like that. You know, it's, uh... I know life is rough. I done seen the rough of the worst parts of it. I done been to hell and back, as some people say. But it never got so bad that I was ready to give it all up. So just seeing somebody give it all up, I never seen that before. I hadn't heard about it, I hadn't seen the aftermaths of it, but I never seen it as it actually happened. You know, you would think it'd be more dramatic, but you know, it was kinda it's just she did it so peaceful. But then it must have been some kind of miracle because I saw her the top of her head come up, you know, through the water. At least ten minutes had been the one by. And I saw her slowly coming up out the water, her forehead. And her ever and she wasn't panicking. She wasn't you know, she was just walking straight. She had walked through the valley of the shadow of death and, and then came out on the other side you know, unscathed. Then she started walking and coming out right towards me. And the compassion I had for her touch to feel. My body froze, my breath was cold in my throat. I knew. I knew this lady was something different. I caught a quick glance, a glance of her eyes. And her eyes was like, Empty. It wasn't nothing now. And I knew I'd always heard. When you see people with eyes that's empty, don't look in them. I'd heard the tales of the spirits. And I knew by all the folks that's been lost to that river. She stood right in front of me. Just as real as the earth beneath my feet. And I didn't move. I didn't even want to breathe. Whatever this lady had in her mind. I just hoped that. She just walked on by. And time just stretched out. 
I could feel each second going by. And then without a word, she just kept on walking right past me. And I saw her go in through the trees. And she left me alone with the river in my thoughts. <laughs>